on. Good evening, and um, and welcome to our results show. Now we're going to start with a slight apology. Um, it appears that the um, the rather remarkable Google form um, liked number seven too many times in um, in the fifth round, um, and it's caused just a little bit of carnage. Um, I think here you know, we tried to think. Oh look, do we try and make some assumptions about how it all went? Uh, we thought at the end of the day, you know something. Let's just leave it as it is. It was um, it's a bit mistaken on our part. Sorry about that. Um, won't happen again. Hopefully. Um, so we had some great scores. Uh, we've got um, we've got joint top scorers. Um, but more of that a bit later. But what we'll do to start with is um, we're going to spin to get our, our random number to um, to identify who's going to be in for the chocolates or biscuits. Now, um, one, of the, one of the things I just need to warn you about is Connor's spent a bit too much time at home. <laughs> so there we go. Um, I've not got words for that, but um, but I suspect each week we might have a little different background theme tune for um, for our spinny wheel. Anyway, if you are um, if you scored twenty three, uh, you're in with a chance. Um, kind of check while we're going through the answers and see who's in with uh, with a shout. If there's more than one of you, we'll have a spin off at the end. Uh, meantime, we'll run through the questions without two number sevens in round five. So then, with that... Was mad old thingy that's wrecked it. Obviously, are we good again? Okay, how much of it did we not hear for? That's the question. All of it. Oh no. So um, have we got to do the whole thing again? Ah, uh, just this. I don't know how much of it you haven't heard. None of it at all. Just for this bit. Just for the answers. So when the madness happened with a spinny wheel, then it was all okay until that point. And then we went to answers we didn't hear. We went quiet. Is that where we are? So I'm looking at technical genius over here, who's kind of sm smiling and looking, I'm not sure-ish. Anyway, look, let's go back to the start. Uh, as you might have guessed, um, the, uh, the architect here came from Iran. Um, the Moderna vaccine was the last vaccine to be registered in the UK. Um, the writer who's in a world of trouble, Jacob Anthony Chansley. Uh, the newspaper that started the campaign called Jab's Army, The Mighty Sun. Um, and what date did the latest national lockdown become law? It was, um, it was whatever the word is, by Parliament um, on the 6th of January. Which Hollywood A-lister um, and Trump supporter was quoted as saying the fight to overturn the election is not over. Well, I've got no words for him, but it was John Voigt. Uh, which airline operated the 737 that tragically crashed into the Java Sea? That was Sriwi Java Air. In which month has the, bon uh, the bomb film No Time to Die now been rescheduled to launch? Well, it's been rescheduled to April 
Um, I suspect there's um, there's not long odds on it being rescheduled again. No time to play. Uh, Lewis Hamilton is uh, is the prince of the age of 36, and the Arsenal star uh, mo- linked with the move to Fenerbahce uh, is Mesut Ozil. Out of favour, obviously, at Arsenal. Round two, science round. The car travelled at 40 miles an hour, 45 minutes. How far has it travelled? Well, it's 30 miles. Um, it's three quarters of an hour, and three quarters of 40 is 30. Um, oil, natural gas and coal are all examples of fossil fuel. Uh, the main cause of the seasons on the Earth, well, it's the tilt of the Earth's axis relative to the sun, so different parts of it get closer to the to the sun at different times of year. The computer is slow starting up, possibly it's running out of RAM. Well, that's a hypothesis. Obviously, no proof of that, just a theory. What is the result of deforestation? Increased erosion. Obviously, the, um, uh, the root systems uh, bind the soil together. And acid eases an overly acidic stomach. Um, and acid is fundamentally a base or an alkali. Uh, what is it called when light uh, changes direction when it passes through a lens? That's refraction. Um, and animals that are active at d- dawn and dusk are called crepuscular. It's a fabulous word. I'm not sure where I prefer it to snidaria, but um, crepuscular is pretty good. In feet, how long is the average human small intestine? Well, it's kind of strange to think that the average is, they're all kind of similar. Um, they, the answer is 70, no, sorry, the answer is nine feet. Is it nine feet? Oh, okay. I thought it was more than that. But um, um, obviously mine are probably a good deal wider than Connor's. I'm not sure that's nine feet. Anyway, um, in what year was the cotton bud invented? 1923. Uh, what is a Mexican taquito? Um, the answer is it's a deep fried field tortilla. Uh, the brilliant Hungarian goulash is made from, well, traditionally made from chuck steak or stewing steak. Nihari is the national dish of which country? That would be Pakistan. The Japanese dish udon is um, a, are in fact thick noodles made from wheat flour. The Indian dish, Rogan Josh, is made from which meat? Well, in, in Britain, we, we make Rogan, Rogan Josh with, with all of those meats. But actually, traditionally, um, Rogan Josh is, is lamb because it means it's translated as red lamb. Pulpo gallego is a Spanish dish which is made from octopus. And bratwurst is made from uh, pork and beef. I'm not too sure which bits are of pork and beef it's made from, but obviously the pink pieces. Uh, the Greek dish moussaka contains fundamentally which vegetable? Aubergine. Uh, fettuccine pasta are long, wide ribbons. And the Caribbean delicacy saltfish is made from which fish? It's made from cod. Um, and it's, um, it's rubbed with salt and left out in the sun to dry for um, a significant period. And I've got to say, it's a bit of an acquired taste. It had me, um, not much had me gagging, but I was pretty close to it. Uh, round four, cartoons. What kind of animal is Baba? Baba is... An elephant, a multicolored elephant. Uh, which cartoon did Benny the Bull appear in? Top up. Uh, now that's definitely wrong. Top Cat is the answer. Um, I have to talk to talk to somebody about that. Talk to myself maybe. Top Cat is the answer. Um, Benny the Bull, that little blue and grey one with a little white pork pie hat on and uh, um, a white jacket. Uh, what was Alvin the Chipmunk's surname? Well, it was Alvin Seville, of course, as if you didn't know. Uh, what cartoon is Nickelodeon's longest-running series? SpongeBob SquarePants. 
who is the bad guy in Phineas and Ferb? Well, thankfully, it's the one that's best to pronounce, Dr. Heinz Doofenshmirtz. Brilliant name. Uh, and what film was Rick and Morty based? Back to the Future. And um, what is the name of the clown in The Simpsons? Well, um, I kind of, I kind of quite like Krusty, even though I think I probably shouldn't. Um, it's Krusty the Clown. What animal is Molly in Peppa Pig? Molly is a mole. Um, in Thomas the Tank Engine, what is the name of the miserable crane that works at the docks? Cranky. And in Charlie and Lola, how did little Lola? Well, little Lola's only four. On to round five, general knowledge round. Uh, what length is the longest bridge in the world? Well, this is the bridge in China, and it's 164 kilometres, which, um, yeah, it's just mind-boggling. Uh, the second largest country in the world by area is Canada. Um, obviously, much of it uninhabited. The human body takes approximately 20,000 breaths a day. Um, the lifespan of a dragonfly is 24 hours. Um, in which year was Mary Poppins released from prison? 1964. I don't know, she wasn't really released from prison. Some people in our house, um, we're kind of split in our house about Mary Poppins. There's the absolutely love Mary Poppins and there's the Run for the Hills mob um, who, who don't watch Mary Poppins. But, um, but there we go. And you can probably guess between the five of us who falls into which camp. Uh, what sports game did James Naismith invent in 1891? It was b -b -b basketball. Um, Albert Einstein. Now, who would have known this? I didn't know this, but um, there we go. Albert Einstein and a colleague Rishi with a paint in 1930. For which ki kitchen implement? It was the fridge. In what year was Communist China founded? 1949. Um, how does Harry Potter manage to breathe underwater in the Triwizard Tournament? Well, he eats gillyweed. And finally, um, for this week's quiz, uh, what is the collective noun for a group of bats? The answer, a cauldron. A cauldron of bats. Uh, how about that? So, there are our answers. Um, and, uh, and our scores... Uh, our scores were pretty varied, to be honest. But um, um, I'm delighted to say that top score um, was 36. And that was shared between um, uh, Jason and uh, Amy and Josh. It was all four of you. But um, anyway, well done, the Reeve family. And um, and our very own Rory, who was down in um, is who is down in um, in Portsmouth. Um, so what well I'm Ross. Uh, you just get sadly this week. You just get the plaudits. Now, as far as the um, uh, the biscuits or chocolates are concerned, I'm delighted to say that um, that the random number generator in its madness pulled out Susie. So Susie, well done you. Um, you just need you know what to do. Get in touch, and if you've got any sort of, if it's chocolates, you want dark chocolate, light chocolate. If it's biscuits, you want dark chocolate, light chocolate, no chocolate. Um, just give us a bit of a steer and, uh, and we'll arrange for something nice to be delivered to you. Um, there we go. That's, uh, that's quiz 31 um, all done. Um, yeah, we'll be back with you in two weeks' time where we'll be doing the uh, same again, quiz number 32.